So chances are, if you're checking this video out, you're looking for some more answers to the Netflix original series Behind Her Eyes. Obviously, this is going to have spoilers. So if you're looking for a spoiler-free review, I've linked mine up above, I'm not sure which corner it is, and in the description below. Okay, so we have four main players in this psychological thriller. There's Luis, David, Adele, and Rob. When we first meet Louise, we see she's a single mom heading out for an evening with a friend. When her friend bails, she has a chance encounter with a charming but awkward man, David. Their conversations are the type you'd experience when meeting a stranger. I mean, they're kind of surfacy with tiny bits of depth. They never exchange names, but do kiss briefly before David says how he can't and apologizes and walks away, leaving Louise just to kind of stand there. And realistically, you've noticed that something is just a bit off with David. I mean, beyond his awkwardness. We quickly learn that he's married and that he is Louise's new boss. After Lou spends the day in the toilet hiding, they finally have a conversation and agree to just work. I mean, they're gonna forget what happened that night and move forward professionally. We also get to meet David's wife, Adele. She's a bit strong-willed, or at least confident in certain ways. We see this in the way that she directs the conversations with David's boss. But when we see them at home, it is a completely different story. Adele is quiet, timid, maybe sad, and almost scared. But so is David. I mean, their dynamic is way off. Both are keeping each other at arm's distance, and is this out of protection or fear from the other? There's also an awkward or tense air between David and Adele. They try to project happiness, but there is something under the surface that betrays their facade. What appears at the beginning of the show with Adele being more controlling or domineering shifts to show us that David is highly controlling of Adele. He's keeping tabs on her with phone calls and pumping her full of a ton of different medications. There's also the black eye that Adele gets. We know it's because she goes into a rough area and gets punched by somebody, but she tells Lou it was a cupboard, which of course Lou does not believe. I mean, she instantly, like most people, thinks it's David, just as Adele wants her to believe. Adele wants the doubt in Lou's mind about David. Through a lot of flashbacks, we learn that Adele was in a rehab facility, or maybe it was a sort of mental institution. I'm not really sure. I mean, but either way, she's being watched over and cared for with group sessions and medications. There, she has a friend named Rob. He's quirky and he doesn't appear to take things too seriously, but we also get the sense that all that is a facade. I mean, he's hiding behind his humor. Rob cares for Adele a great deal, and they build a strong friendship. He seems almost like he's in love with her, or maybe feels like a protector of Adele. We also know that Adele is in love with David while she's in that facility, and Rob has a mild distrust of David, even though he's never met him. One thing also that we learn is that Rob is gay. He makes indirect mention to this when speaking to a nurse, but then also in a dream sequence. That's only important because when Rob and David finally do meet, it's very obvious that Rob fancies David. There's a look shared between them in the kitchen as they put some food into the oven, and we see that David catches the look too, but through the course of their conversations, it doesn't look like David reciprocates Rob's feelings. So let's fast forward to the end, and then I will circle back. We see that through dream walking or astral projection, Rob tricks Adele into swapping bodies. And then once Rob is in Adele's body, he gives his former body, which Adele now inhabits, an overdose of heroin, and she dies. But because it's Rob's body, David's not gonna know. Rob's body is then dropped down the well, but David's watch, which he had given to Adele to hold, falls into the well also, making it look like David is the one who killed Rob and disposed of the body. So you're following me so far? So Rob is Adele, or Adele is Rob, and the entire time that we have met Adele in the present, it's been Rob. So now we come to the present where Adele, again, really Rob, has started a fire and taken heroin. He astral projects to leave the body and Luis also projects in an effort to make it through the fire to save Adele. Because Rob has done the whole body switching thing before, he takes over Lou's body, forcing Lou's consciousness into Adele's body. And because of the heroin, which Lou is not used to, she can't really move. I and mean, it's the very same scenario that Rob used with Adele when he took over her body. Rob then kills Louise and continues the relationship with David. David believes it's Lou he's with. I mean, why wouldn't he? The one he's grown to want and care for, and there's no baggage or fear. And because Adele is dead, there's no power being held over him. Plus, Adele leaves a note that exonerates David, making him truly free from his past. So David believes he's gotten what he wants. But in reality, Rob has secured what he's wanted all along, a relationship with David. And because David thinks it's Lou, 
there's no suspicion or cloud to the relationship. Okay, so now let's backtrack some to look at some of the clues that showed us that Adele was robbed the whole time we saw her in the present. There's the heroin use. I mean, we see Adele shoot up between her toes. In the flashback, she tells David the day he returns that she experimented with heroin with Rob. So sure, she could have been hooked from there and become an addict over the course of the years that followed. So that's not a wholly obvious clue. There's the behavior or personality change we see in Adele. In flashbacks, she's very easygoing and jovial. Yeah, I mean, she has some sadness, but for the most part, she's hopeful and she's looking forward to her future with David. In the present, she's filled with a sadness that seems to dominate her persona. But a lot of that could be explained with the number of meds that David has her on. I mean, he is controlling her through his behaviors and just, well, the medications. Adele also paints the massive forest scene in their bedroom. I mean, it's meant to remind David of her power over him, and it obviously bothers David. I mean, it almost torments him. Plus, you figure David is fearful that Adele is going to rat him out if she becomes too unhappy. His watch is at the bottom of the well, and there was a certain level of suspicion already on David due to the fire at Adele's that killed her parents. And it was speculated that David had set the fire because he was not rich and he could have done it to remove the parents as an obstacle to then woo Adele and gain her massive inheritance. So it's not then out of the realm of possibility that police would suspect David way more than Adele. And Rob knew these details from his conversations with Adele. I mean, they spent an incredible amount of time together. They were best friends. I think the largest clue to showing us that Adele was robbed the entire time in the present is through the astral projections. Now, chances are though, if you're like me, you didn't catch it at first. The very first time we see an astral projection is when Adele is floating over Luis and David having sex. We see a light kind of looking down on them and the view is kind of hazy around the edges. I mean, it's like we're looking through a window that's not totally clean. We see that same light a couple of times after that, and it follows the couple and can hear and see everything that's going on, but it's not bound by doors or walls. So did you notice the light was blue? I did, but it didn't mean anything to me. I mean, even the first couple of times that I saw Adele and Rob project together. Adele's projection is purple, Rob's is blue. We later find out that Luis's is green, but for this purpose right now, the only thing that matters is that Rob's projection is blue. And that's the main clue to show us that it is Rob peering down on David and Louise the entire time. The only time we ever see a purple projection is in the flashbacks. And that's because that's the last time Adele was alive. And as we watch the season end, David is overjoyed because he's free of the oppression and past of Adele. And he's married Louise, who he's grown to love. But Rob, inhabiting Louise, is thrilled because he now has David free from the hurts in the past. The only two people we see that feel something is off is Lou's ex-husband Ian and her son Adam. And that boy is sharp because he notices massive differences right off the bat. And he's really hesitant to be with his mom. So the moral of the story is when you're spending time in a rehab facility and you make a friend, do not astral project with them and agree to swap bodies. Things are not going to end well. So did I miss anything? Did I get some things wrong? Let's continue the discussion down in the comments. I love hearing all of the thoughts and theories, especially in a story that is so rich with twists and turns. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. If you enjoyed this, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.